Welcome back to a new season of The Brush Up. Man, I'm excited. Are you Andy. excited, Leo? Hey. Hey. You know what that means? What? That means get your popcorn ready, get your grab popcorn. your Skittles, grab them and Skittles. enjoy the show. Get this button. How's that? How's that? The button's button. off. Yeah? Button's off. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My name is Brian Kehoe and this is my masterpiece. And I'm Connor Board. Hi, I'm Chris Bolin. And I'm Manny Vietes. And I'm Mike Flanagan from Mike on the Street. And I'm Tari and Rogers, and it's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, what, Mr. Rogers can't be black? What? <laughs> Ooh. I'm Melania Von uh, Oh, oh, got me doing it. Hi, I'm Landon Miller. I'm Eric Uribe. I'm Leo Vias. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. Guys, guys, come on now. Come on. This guy. I'm going to do this. All right, three, two, and we're the brush up. And the show starts now. You are watching the brush up. I am Landon Miller. Molly, nice Hi. to see ya. And I'm Melania Vongs Varates. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness, is it that time already? What are you What are I, you talking about? I, I gotta show. run. I gotta run. Gotta do um, a little bit of b-ball. 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 Yeah. You mean football? Yeah. Football with Brock, perhaps? Yeah. Oh. B-ball. Come on. Okay. Hey, you got this, though, well, right? Sure. All right. All right. You got it. You well, got it. We'll return to the show shortly, but first, let's watch Landon get tackled by Nevada's defensive end, Brock Hecking. All right. Take three. <laughs> All right, so we made it out to the Wolfpack uh, practice field here for our new segment called Third and Down. Leo, what is it all about? Third and Goal, bud. Oh, Third and Goal. Whatever. What is it all about? There are three questions that we will ask you, and you will be completely surprised. Completely surprised. surprised. Are you Are you surprised? Uh, yeah, for the third time, third time yes. Third yes. time. Keep in mind, this is the third time. We've already screwed up twice. So let's start off with this. What is your weirdest quirk? Uh, I would have to say the... The yoga that I enjoy doing about twice a week. Bought a DVD online and, you know, like to light the candles and get that on. What website did you buy it from? I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what type of conditioner do you use for your hair? Uh, I don't know the brand exactly, but I, I know it's uh, argan oil from Morocco is the uh, main ingredient and it uh, keeps the hair nice and silky and smooth. Now, I know you're a class act guy, Brock, but say if you were to kind of get into a scuffle in a bar, maybe or maybe not, who would someone on your team or maybe your coaching staff would you kind of want to kind of be your, your, your guy to fight with you? Uh, you know, there's there's one kid uh, that kind of jumps out, and that's a good roommate, Lenny Jones. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a cool guy, and, uh, you know, we've wrestled a couple times, and, you know, he, he can throw down a little bit. But you, you would never fight, right? Uh, no, of course. Always walk <laughs> away first. Walk away first. Walk nice. away first. Um, well, so now let's head on to the football field and uh, so you can show us some of your moves, man, on the field. All right, good. Cool. Second, second Am I going to get hit? Yeah, just a little bit, though. There's no, there's no We're good. And the game ball goes to Mr. Brock Hecking. Thank you. Woo! Thank you guys. 
All right, thanks. One more move real quick, one more move. One more move, Chad. <laughs> All right. Okay, Brock, yeah. you know, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm a little hurt, though. Yeah. Let's do something that I think we agree that I can do. Okay. That's a little downward dog. Okay, okay. What? <laughs> it's a yoga term. You said okay, you like yoga. okay, yeah, yeah. So let's do some yoga real quick. Okay. Let's do, let's do downward dog. All right, we're going to go Namaste's and sun salutations in. I got you. Get in, here, get tar, let, have Tari and get in there with the mic. Alright, what am I doing? We get a nice little plank position. Okay. Arms across, push over with the butt. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste, Brock. Namaste. Namaste, guys. Namaste. 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 We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. And you guys, I mean myself, probably, and Wally. <laughs> Go support Brock and the rest of the Wolf Pack in the homecoming game against Boise State, Saturday, October 5th. As for Landon, well, he may need a little more time to stretch before he comes back. <laughs> Don't be going <laughs> And welcome back to the brush up. Leah, where did your coat go? Oh my gosh, it, it disappeared. It disappeared. Talk about magic. All right, well, uh, next up, people are pouring buckets of ice all over their heads, water inside of it, all for that ALS ice bucket challenge. I'm sure you've seen the videos. You may have even done the challenge yourself, but do you know what for? Mike Flanagan, I believe is out on the street. There you are, Mike. Um, hey, what's going on, my man? Thanks, Landon. And your hair looks just awful. All right, well, hey, camera I'm guy, can you go a little bit closer? It, what is that? Uh, it looks like a little bit of white. Is that white oh, hair, Mike? Oh, really? Really? Anyway, look at me. I'm perfectly dry. That must mean that the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is finally over. If you're not familiar with that, that's when participants, instead of giving to the ALS fund, choose to pour a bucket of ice water all over themselves. But I'm here to find out what did they really learn from that? It's a challenge designed by people from ALS for people that have ALS. It's, um, ALS is, why are you getting closer? It's used as a symbol as to represent uh, minorly of what they would feel under these conditions. So there's a, you're saying there's a correlation between the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge and the effect of the disease on people? Yes. This is but, wild stuff. Favorite celebrity that's done it so far? Uh, Justin Timberlake. Uh, Matt Damon just recently did it. I like that. Cause I don't wanna lose you now. I'm looking right at the other half of me. Are you gonna do yours with toilet water? I don't get nominated. I thought we had this conversation like that. Matt Facebook Damon thing. didn't nominate you? I know, he should have. I mean, we've been on a few dates. You'd think he remembered me, but no. You can keep going. Um, I'm not sure what to say. Full disclosure, a little disappointed. We did these interviews on a Friday after 5 o'clock trying to find students a bit less knowledgeable, and we failed. Good for you, Nevada. Back to you, Landon. You know, Mike, that's a good point. You see a lot of smart people on campus on Friday afternoons. You're not really getting those questionable ones. Hey, if you want to uh, learn more about the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, you can always visit the website alsa.org. Tesla is here and here to stay. Governor Brian Sandoval recently signed off on the tax incentive to bring the Gigafactory to Nevada. Chris Boleyn sits down with two of the university's economic professors, Mark Pingle and Thomas Harris, to discuss what this means for the community. All right, thanks, Leo. Uh, now to my left are University of Nevada economic professors, Mark Pingle and Tom Harris. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. So today we're going to talk about the Tesla factory and what it means for the university, for the Nevada region. And uh, so we have Tom and Mark to talk about that today. So what are kind of like some main facts that University of Nevada students need to know about Tesla and what it kind of brings to the region? I guess I'll go and say <laughs> something. Sure. One idea we talk about in economics is the multiplier effect. And when you have a new company like Tesla with so much employment coming in, both the building of the facility itself will create jobs, those people in those jobs will spend money in the community and that'll create an impact beyond Tesla. Once the factory is up and running, 
that'll of course also have that multiplier effect. So that's one idea that's important. All right. Well, also, uh, just to chime in with what Mark said, there will be new occupations come out of this. Uh, with Tesla, with the Gigafactory, uh, people with different uh, occupations and uh, people really need college education uh, will probably be working at these. They're, they're not just you know, auto mechanic deals. They're, they're going to be a very uh, high science. So those, and, and also what Mark brought in is the multiplier effect. Yeah. The other jobs and occupations that come with it will also uh, be generated. So it's a, it's a very positive thing here in, in Nevada for college graduates, which five years ago in the Great Recession, y'all you know, all over looking for a job anywhere. Now we may be a, where we have a supply shortage. Absolutely. I mean, obviously there's a lot of chance for a change in this region. All right. Thank you, Professors Pingle and Harris today. And now we're going to send it back to Leo. Thanks. According to Governor Sandoval, Tesla will create a $100 billion economic impact over the next 20 years. Construction is already underway for the factory. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> Cute. Now it's time for another exciting edition of Kehoe's Corner. Brian Kehoe brings you all the action, emotions, and screams of bid day. Welcome to Kehoe's Corner. Today is Bid Day 2014 here at the University of Nevada. As you can see, all the girls are out here waiting impatiently to see all of their new babies, the new blood to their chapter. This is one of the biggest days of the year for sorority girls, and we have it here for you. Now, um, you know this common term we often hear about rush crush. Did you did you did you happen to get one this year? I did have a rush crush actually. My name's Summer Vanessa. She's literally my favorite person in the world right now. And is she, is she going to be the first one you hug today when they all come rushing over? She's actually my heart sister. We don't tell her that yet because she's a no, but she's my heart sister. So she's the person running to me. I have her sign for her, her name card, and a towel. For you. Um, it is a day where you can have fun with all your new sisters. It's a good way to get to know them. It's, a, it's just supposed to be a bunch of fun. With you. That's good. Do you feel excited about the group of girls you oh, got? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We've been working hard all week and we know they're excited and we're excited, so it's going to be a really fun day. Well, it's a great day. We, uh, we gave our bids to 356 women today, so fantastic day. Um, and it was 110 hours of work this week uh, to make it happen, but it's all worth it when the women are happy and they find their homes. One happy campus. I think what he really meant was one happy Kehoe. <laughs> All right, a new segment on the brush up called Safe Sex Talks with Annalise. Let's go inside the radio room and talk to the one, the only Annalise. Hi, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Brandon, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. So we're here with Annalise Who Cow today. Um, can you tell us a little bit what you do on the stage brush? Well, for the Sagebrush, I write the sex column, obviously, as you've seen and read many, many times. Um, I educate students how to have safe and wonderful sex. It's a little controversial, though, Annalise, sometimes, right? It is. Unfortunately, I do get a lot of negative backlash, depending on the subject matter at hand. But it's a wonderful subject, and we do need to talk about it. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about what you talked about this week? This week I talked about sorority life and how having a sorority or a fraternity um, in your life can actually help support you in your sexual decisions. So uh, what can we expect for future future Sagebrush uh, episodes? Mm, more Any fun times? and games and, well, you'll love them. But ultimately, haters are going to hate, right? Yeah, haters are going to hate, but that's okay. I'm doing my thing and, I'm well, people like it, so. All right, Annalise, thank you so much for joining us. And we're looking forward to talking to you later on throughout the semester. Oh, wonderful. All right, awesome. Thanks. Nice meeting you again. Thank you. All right, have a good day. Whoa, that was a very interesting uh, segment, Chris, huh? I got a girlfriend, Leo. Oh, no come problem. on, man. Anyways, joining us now is Chris Boleyn, editor-in-chief of the Nevada Stage Rush. Chris, tell us a little bit about this upcoming week's paper. First off, it's great to be back on the brush up. This is a really awesome semester. I'm really excited for it. Uh, this week, we talked about Nevada's loss to Arizona at the Zona Zoo. It was a pretty heartbreaking loss. We also talked about the numerous petitions going around campus. Obviously, the marijuana one is a very big one. It might go to the Nevada legislature. Hey, also sounds good. So that means 
everyone pick up the paper on Tuesday. But before we clock out, I want to give out a huge shout out to Manny, to Tarian, to Nico, our excellent, excellent advisor. Uh, Everyone, Luke, Gloria, everyone who was in, who was involved today, Chris, thank you for in, for interviewing uh, professors for uh, for Tesla. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, Mr. Landon Miller. And of course, if you're also interested in checking out past episodes, you can always go to NevadaSagebrush.com. That, of course, is for the brush up. Also, check out WPR Show at Sagebrush Radio Tuesday at seven o'clock. Wolfpack Radio is what WPR means. I mean, it's a, it's a cool new thing, guys. So it's one of those acronyms. That's the cool thing to do is the acronyms. Pretty, WPR. Pretty, Wolfpack Radio, Pretty baby. cool, man. It's actually PC. Oh, P oh. pretty oh. cool. But anyways, <laughs> if you want to be part of the action, the Brush Up is now an official club on campus. Mm. So if you are interested in joining, please contact us or our advisor at u.snico at gmail.com. Now, that would be... You can contact us at Nico.com. No, wait. No. Oh. Is it US? No, Nico, is it US? Nico. All right, US. Nico. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Right, thank you. You. Sometimes I question you sometimes. <laughs> but it's okay. Love All you, right. Anyways, we want to show off your pack pride on the show. Enter the Wolfpack Vine competition and share your Vine creations with us. Use the hashtag, hashtag BrushUp, and you could be featured on our next show. And don't forget to follow us on social media and let us know what you think about the show and also that you've actually seen the show. You want to see me get tackled again? I know you do. You want to see me do some downward dog again or maybe Leo some downward dog again or even some Brock downward dog again. It's all on social media, guys. That's it. It's a great thing. Follow us. Follow us. Well, that about does it for today. Thank you guys for brushing up with the brush up. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.